let's learn how to make a comic book text effect in Kittle right now. So the first thing we're going to do is use a font that's already in that cartoon style. I am using this one right here called Lapsus Pro and we also want to make sure it is in all caps. I think that is a big part of the comic book style so I've got the uppercase tab here selected and of course you just want to find a font that's really going to fit this style and so then over in effects we need to add some shadow. So if I click this third one, which is the block shadow, it defaults to gray, but we're going to just change that to black. And already, just with the font selection, you can see we have this comic book style. And then if I add the outline, then it all starts to really come together. Now you can add as much as you want to get really crazy with it, or you can find a, uh, a relatively nice default. I think around 30 with that block shadow is nice. And then you can move the angle around to wherever you would want it to be. Maybe you are making like a little comic book panel or a flyer or something. Just think about where you want the direction to be. I think this direction just underneath is, is pretty fine. Of course, you could change it to wherever you are going to put it on the page. And then what we're going to do is add some distort to this just to give it a little bit of movement because the comic book style, the comic book text style has action to it and we want to signify some sort of momentum. So I'm just moving a couple of these anchor points around and making kind of a slight distorted arc here to signify some motion, right? Some action sequence or some kind of momentum here. And then after we feel like that is looking pretty good, what we can do is add one of our speech bubbles around. So if I go to elements, I can just type in cartoon. Now we have quite a bit of speech bubbles. We also have a lot of cartoon elements here. And I like this one right here. I think the sharpness of this one plays well with the kind of roundness uh, of the stroke that's around the text. And you can see it's a little bit rounder around the parts of this uh, speech bubble. Now I'm gonna give it a little bit of a lighter color. I don't wanna give it the yellow that's the background, but I also don't wanna make it the orange of the text. That might look a little weird and blend strangely. I want it to stand out, right? So this boom, it's kind of popping out of the page and then to just really take it to the next level, we're gonna add some halftone texture. And boom, all you have to do is click one over in our textures panel and then you can play with how intense you want of course, you're going to need to play around with it to get the effect that you want. We have so many different ones here in the halftone textures that will really give you a different vibe depending on what it is you are trying to create. So you just want to find one that's going to work best for you. I'm looking for one that's maybe not over the entire thing. Like this one I think is really cool. It's just kind of bleeding into part of the design here. Then of course you could play with the intensity uh, and you can also change the font if you want. So we don't have to use this distorted uh, font. What we can do is actually just use one of our catch word fonts. So if I go uh, and type in catch right here, we have these two fonts. I'm gonna use this one right here. And you can see that there are already a ton of kind of comic style uh, retro catch words that are gonna be really great for if you're making like a social media post or, or something online. If I to open the glyphs panel, you can see there are so many here. There are things like sale and the, depending on what it is you're just trying to do, there's fresh down there only. Let's use this one right here, this sale word right here again. All you have to do is click it from the glyphs panel. I've, I've got too many words in there from the previous uh, from the previous word. Uh, but now that we have this in here, we can just size it up. And you can see how this would stand out really nicely on a flyer or even a social media post. Or even just as an actually uh, larger printed banner or graphic in your store or something like that. Now this could be really cool and a super easy effect to make. Now, if you want to see other tutorials using Kittle, I have these videos here on my right that I know you're going to enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos and features and things like that. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.